Hi, I'm Kit. Welcome to Growing Kitch. Please click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos on gardening techniques and join me on my gardening horticultural journey. Hi, welcome to Growing Kitch. Today I'm going to be doing some more seed planting in the February month. I'll be doing some seeds from the Patio Veg Seed Packet, which is also by Speedy Seeds. Um, and I'll also be doing this Speedy Seed, some seeds from this one, Companion Planting. So I'll be doing the seeds that can be planted in February. Um, these seed packets are, I saw some of them in home bargains recently. So, and they were really cheap. I think they were like 79p. Um, so you might want to pick up some of them and there are some other variations as well um, of different planting collections. So let's get started. I have pre-planted my tray up. I have done all my labels. I've also done labels for the ones that I'm going to plant next month um, ready so I know that they're going to be all in the same tray from the same packet. There is some seeds that do need to be directly planted outside which I'll be doing videos for that as well. So keep an eye out. So, right, the first one I'm going to do is from, I'm going to be planting up the patio veg one first. I'm going to plant up aubergines. So these are aubergines half flagon violet. <coughs> so, there's my aubergine label in the first. Make sure all your soil is level before you begin planting. Let's just give it a little pat down. So, with your pencil, make a little drill. This is one centimetre deep. It does suggest on the packet, packet putting it on an eight centimetre pot, but I'm going to be potting mine on. So, I've got my aubergine seeds. So, I'm just going to be carefully popping these in, going along. And then with the pencil, I'm just going to move them about a bit so that they're nice and in line and tucking them in as I'm going. So like I said, these got to be about one centimetre deep. I'm tucking them to the one side to make sure they're in line. Okay, and then I'm going to cover it over. Oh, actually before I do that, I'm going to give it a little spray. To make sure it's moist where I pop the seeds. So, okay, and I'll be covering that over with some compost. So that's that one done. So the next one I'll be doing is chilies. These are chili peppers. They are anthahimi. I'm not very good with my pronunciation of plants. So if, any, if I do pronounce them, I'm really sorry. I do have dyslexia, so pronunciation of plant names is never the easiest thing for me. I'm sure the dyslexic people um, will agree with me, or people that just can't have trouble saying the Latin names will agree with me as well. So, next ones. It's a really good idea to have a look at your plant have a look at the seeds first and because on the seed packet it's not actually in um, date order from when you plant them oh they just all came out in one clump so they don't so you might want to take a little bit of study i i do little help sheets for myself because there tends to be sometimes a lot of information on the back of the packets so i i try and simplify it down for myself and try and pick out the key things that i just need uh, for the first planting stage so all i really need is to know if I'm doing it in a pot, how big the pot it suggests and how deep it is. And I'll add those little help sheets or if you need them, they'll be available um, on, on some platform at some point. I forgot to water. I always forget to water. Oh, I'm just a terrible gardener. Quite a lazy gardener I am as well. But I've pledged to myself and you pledge to yourself with me if you're the type of person I am. I, I leave plants until they're crying for water. So next one, again make a drill. This is Sweet Pepper California Wonder. 
So just barely on the surface. Probably did that other one a bit deep, but they will still come up. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how long that will come up because I think I did do it a little bit too deep. But they will still grow up. Sometimes nature seeds don't always get planted into their exact. Oh, again, I forgot to water. See. I'm just doing it, try and keep, do it close to it so it's got that water straight away to help it start germinating. So if anybody doesn't know, germination is the process of when that seed is planted and then now um, the reaction with the water and it being in the dark is helping it to start growing which is known as germination. So now we're on tomatoes. Have I done it right? That one needs to be over there, that one needs to be over there. So yeah, tomatoes is my next one. So this one is the 1.5 centimetres deep one. So we're going to make a nice deep trench, or the proper name is drill. There we go. Oh, these are small seeds. Go, give them a water. There we go. And then cover them up and move on to the next ones. Right, so now, so I've got French bean here and I've got sweet corn. Now these ones need to be planted in March, so I'm going to wait to plant those ones. Um, that'll be in another video if you want to check that out later on in the year. That seed packet's done, so I'll put that to one side. So companion planting is where you get, you plant one plant, say you plant cauliflowers, which is in this packet, and apparently if you put sage onto it, it, let me see here, it keeps away the butterflies that eat away the like cabbage butterflies and um, the scent is meant to detect, di distract them from the cauliflowers. So we'll see how that goes as a trial. I will be planting cauliflowers first, so I'll open that up, snip, 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 here we are. So I'm right over here on the side, just going over a bit so you can see a bit better. This one is 1.5, so it's on the surface again. So we just make a, a little drill. Now these seeds do roll about a lot. Um, if you're doing them children, they are hard seed to plant. They are little, literally like little ball bearings. Um, I do take macro photos of my seeds. If you want to check out my Instagram, they are going to be on there. Um, you can just try and guess what seeds are what. It's quite nice because they don't always look how you think they look when you take close-up photos or if you look at them through under a microscope. They look really interesting. That's that one done. So the next one I'm going to do in this tray is sweet basil. This is a dark basil, black opal. Um, I have seen normal basil, which is green. But I was quite intrigued when the packet had this on. It looks like an interesting alternative. It's a very nice colour. Um, little fun fact for you. Purple vegetables, like the purple aubergine that I just planted. And this are apparently more healthier for you. They have more vitamins and minerals in them, apparently. So we'll do that. Is that the right depth? Let's check. Barely on the surface, so I need to put a bit more back in. I love these clear packets. It's not very good for the environment, but great for seed sowing because you can actually see where the seeds are as opposed to the foil white packets that you get. They're quite hard. You've got to more or less feel the seeds. You'll see later on in other videos what I mean by the white foil packets. Oh, these have all gone quite close together, so what I'm going to do. Give it a water. Right, so last one. Fun tomatoes, but I've remembered that. It is in March, this one, so this one we planted until March as well. Give it a final good water in. Is that a seed that's popped up? Yes, it is. Oh, I think it's a pepper. You might find that the se some seeds do get moved by the water being sprayed. You can just pop this on your windowsill now. I know it seems like I am watering up, but this water is sitting on the surface, so it takes quite a while to go down. I don't have drainage in this, so I'm going to be careful with my water, hence another reason why I'm using the spray bottle. You could just leave this on the windowsill, providing it is at uh, between, I think it's 18 to 20 centigrade. Um, I'm not too sure on Fahrenheit, sorry if you do Fahrenheit everybody. I will pop it in the description below. Um, what I'm popping in here is an electronic 
heated propagator. I'll pop and find the lid in a second. And, uh... So this creates the temperature and it warms the soil. Um, it does plug in, so it uses electricity. Or you can just simply wait and let the soil warm up naturally. The germination will take a lot longer than it does specify if it's not, if because it takes a long time for the soil to heat up to temperature. So this just gives a little boost. I'll plug this in and it will raise the temperature. I do have a little thermometer that I put up in the soil just at the start so I know it's reached temperature. Usually once it gets hot, it stays warm, um, surprisingly. The good thing about this is I can, because the cable is attached, there's no way of attaching the cable, I can take this and pop it somewhere else, so that's really good. Let me go and find the lid for the propagator. So I found the lid for the propagator. So I'll pop that on like so, it's a bit dusty, I will give it a bit of a wipe over later. I'll use it in a while. It goes on like so, this is quite a high lid uh, for a propagator, so I should be able to leave everything in here for quite a while so it gets quite big. It does have a little vent on it to help with airflow. Alternatively, it does get a bit too warm, you can just take the lid off and the heat will escape, or you can just leave the lid on, unplug it, and it should be fine too. That is the end of this video. Thanks for watching Growing Kitch. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please pop them below. And if you'd like more videos, click that subscribe button so you can get them coming up on your page. Thanks for watching.